the adventures of the Assistant and Wiggles. Yes! And so my new plan begins. Once our special hypnotic broadcast goes on the air, animals all around town will be under our control and bring us all of their owner's belongings. Soon we will have truckloads of jewels and diamonds all delivered to our front door. Uh, Sheila, what do you want us to do with the radio DJ? Keep holding him hostage. He can't interfere with our plan. Uh-oh, so I, I, I guess I'll just be... Let the broadcast begin! I just want it noted that this isn't what I signed up for. <laughs> okay, Wiggles, I worked on the motor for your backpack drum. It should be more powerful than ever. Then let's give this bad boy some air time. Here we go. Oh, wow, it's a lot smoother. You really live up to your status as a child prodigy, you know? I'm just happy it works. Wiggles, I can't tell if you're acting normal or not. <laughs> Wiggles, what are you doing? Uh, uh, ay, ay, ay. Well, it isn't fleas. And we haven't changed his dog food lately. Tell me, assistant, has Wiggles befriended a rabid moose lately? Not that I know of. I wonder if the problem's all in his head, assistant. Could you turn off that radio? I need to think. Sure. That's weird. Hey, what am I doing in here? What's weird, assistant? When I turned off the radio, Wiggles snapped out of it. Ugh, why does my tongue taste like this? Ugh, I'm starting to become very concerned over here. Amazing. It seems as though the radio transmission is causing Wiggles to act crazy. Whoa, all the animals in town are acting crazy. It looks like some of them are stealing jewelry and taking it to the radio tower. Assistant, you need to go stop this wacky transmission. But how do I do that? Go visit Austin's dad. He runs his own radio show from home, and he might be able to drown out the broadcast with his own. But what about Wiggles? Till that broadcast is taken down, Wiggles will have to wear these noise-canceling headphones. Wow, that's a convenient invention. <laughs> Actually, I bought them online. They were only $11.99. And they had free shipping. You will appreciate good deal when you get older. Okay, I changed the frequency of my station to the same one as the tower. Now let's see if I was able to drown out the broadcast. Nope. That didn't work. I'm sorry, you guys. That tower is a lot stronger than mine. But if you can reduce the strength of the radio station's signal, my broadcast will override that one. Okay, we'll see what we can do. Thanks for the help, Mr. Malone. Hope you guys managed to save the day before 3 o'clock. That's when my popular radio show comes on. Popular? Did your dog just used ear quotes on me. We gotta get up there and stop that broadcast. What? We gotta get up there and stop. What? We've got to. What? Oh, never mind. What? Well, well, look who it is. Sheila Snake! Am I yelling? I can't tell! Turn off that crazy broadcast, Sheila. Never! This is my greatest plan yet, and you'll never see Stop me! Soon all the animals in the town will bring me their owners. We've heard this already. Well, I was saying it for her. Give it up, Sheila. Oh, please. How are you going to stop me when you can't even control your puppy? Say what? Oh, no. Wiggles, snap out of it. Wiggles! I've got to reach those headphones. Maybe I can scare Wiggles by pulling on his legs. Ah! Uh, Jumping Jupiter. Missed. All right, I got him. Uh, what happened? Sheila Snake knocked her. What? Sheila Snake. What? Sheila Snake knocked. Ugh. Never mind. Ah! How did you manage to get out of that one? With the help of some noise canceling headphones. Free shipping strikes again. I can't hear what's going on right now, but I'm sure the banter is great. Wait. How come you snakes aren't affected by the broadcast? We have specific tastes. We have a very particular musical palette. Let's see how you deal with all the animals in town coming to get you. Wait, that's not right. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Oh, come on. 
Good luck getting into the control booth. Henchmen, we need to get out of here before the animals reach the tower. We've got some jewelry to collect. <laughs> if you get a chance, you should look on my bed. You know, check us out. Oh no, Sheila told all the animals to come and get us. How do we stop this? She locked the door. I, I can't get into the control booth. The animals are getting closer. If only we had noise-canceling headphones for the radio tower. Then we could stop the signal. Wait, it's three o'clock. Do you have a sound blanket? I have an idea. Yeah, I have it right over here. I'll use the sound blanket to cover up the antenna. That should weaken the signal enough. Thanks for tuning in to Dad Jokes on 99.7. I'm your host, Austin's Dad. To boost Mr. Malone's radio show. Uh, where are we? Today, I'll be starting with the most painful dad jokes you've ever heard. Here's one. How do you make a Kleenex dance? You put a little boogie into it. <laughs> what kind of terrible talk show is this? <sighs> Why does my mouth taste like jewelry polish? That did it. The animals are leaving. Who can blame them? Austin's dad's radio show is terrible. Why did the invisible man leave the job interview early? Well, he couldn't picture himself doing the job. Yay! You figured out how to get into the control booth. Yep. I just wanted to stop by to say thank you for helping us earlier. I should be thanking you. Since Caven played my show, I've had dads from all over town sign up to be listeners. Oh no, what have we done? Uh, well, anything to help a friend. Oh hey, have you heard this one? Knock knock. Uh, who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting cow. Moo! <laughs> <laughs> hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed me stopping Sheila Snake. That's right, Assistant. You stopped all of those radio transmissions and brought all the animals back. But today we're going to learn something about Wiggles' drone. You want to learn something about it? Yeah! How drones work? We've got a couple ways we're going to show you how drones and, and helicopters work. And we're going to start with these. Now, we also have a little drone here. So there's something called the Bernoulli effect. And that's when something turns, it moves air, right? So right. we've got this little helicopter right here. Now, assistant, do you know, depending on which way these turn, it determines which way it goes? Yeah, so if I do it this way, it will go up. So watch, I'll go up. Whoa! Where'd it go? <laughs> <laughs> I got it back. All right, are you assistant? And way. if you do it the wrong way, it'll go down. So push it out like that. Ready? So. Ah! Well, mine flew all the way over. So watch people at home. Okay. Ready? I'll do another one. You see how it goes? Where'd it go? Oh, he <laughs> almost got it. So these right here are a fun way to demonstrate how air works. And it's, no, it doesn't matter if it's a fan or what. So watch. So when they turn, it determines if it's going to go up or down. And there's a, something really cool called the right hand rule which means you take your right hand. So show me your right hand. That's right. So here's my right hand. So now, see how it's turning? Yeah. Have your hand like that, and then turn your fingers in the direction that it's turning in. Like that. See how mine's turning that way? See my thumb? It's pointing towards you. It's turning the right direction. So what that means is if I turn it that way, it'll go towards you. So that's how the right hand rule works. So. Oops. <laughs> You don't have to push it out, you can just lift it up like that. Okay, assistant, so the right hand rule. So you put your hand in and you, you put your hand on it, your right hand, and then you have your fingers curl in the direction it's going in. See, so this one's going like that. And then your thumb points the way it's gonna go. So if you, like on this, if you, go, you wanna go up, you take your fingers and you curl them in that direction and it goes up, like that. <laughs> Now, if you do it the other way, you have to flip your hand around, and then when it goes like that, uh -oh. it goes down. So watch, I'll go down. And it's not as much fun when it goes down, watch. So it goes, ow! <laughs> so that's how a drone works too, assistant. So all of the fans inside the drone go in the direction that you want it to go in. So the little blades turn that direction. So if you want it to go up, you, the blades would go that way, and it would go up. If you wanted to go down, the blades would turn this way, and they would go down. You want to see it? Yeah! 
So here's our little mini drone. So again, when the blades spin one way, the drone goes up, and when they go the other way, it goes down. <laughs> right? It's just that. So hand me the drone real quick. So the people at home can see. So you see the different blades on it? When they turn that way, my hand would go uh, like that. It's hard to see, but it would push it that way. But when the little blades spin this way, they're spinning towards you, so it would fly towards you. And when it's like this, it would go up or down. So that is how the drones work. But again, why don't we use our little hand helicopters, okay? Okay. So here's, so you just go like this, and up they go. They're like little whirly ones. Whoa, assistant! It came back! <laughs> like boomerangs. So these are pretty fun little ways to experiment about how drones work and science. Oh, got it. Oh. And it also works for fans. So if you have a ceiling fan or something like that, it tells you which way the air is pushing. Because same way, the way it goes is the way the air goes. So when it blows one way, oh. It's going to blow air towards you. And when it goes the other way, it's going to blow air away from you. All right, everyone. We hope you enjoyed this video. Bye. Hey there, everyone. Thanks for watching our video. Now, make sure that you subscribe to the Engineering Family so you can see lots of cool videos. In fact, there's another cool video right there. You can select and watch it. I think you're really going to like it. Is it Team Umazumi, Paw Patrol, Surprise Eggs, Frozen, Blade, Masha. There are so many videos to watch. Bye.